September 20th, 2009. 16 by 9, the bigger picture. I'm in the internet to warn you about a website police say is deceptive. And that could cost you a lot of money. They took me up buying and sinker. If I was to go face to face with them, I would definitely tell them this is all my money back. Putting on a uniform for Israel practically comes with a guarantee a soldier will see conflict. Yet this is where hundreds of Canadians choose to serve. We ask them why and how they deal with international scrutiny. As much as we believe in, in, in what we're doing and everything, sometimes you just feel a little too Canadian for some of it. If you howl, they may come. The nature experience is drawing thousands to Canada's wilderness. It is always magical because you know that those are wild wolves. Those stories and more tonight on 16 by 9. Hello and welcome to 16 by 9, the bigger picture. I'm Mary Garofello. It's a website that promises to make all your dreams come true for a price that is. It's got the RCMP and the Prime Minister's office involved. 16 by 9's Daryl Canine and Belt exposes an internet site we want to warn you about. Brace yourself for a cross-continent investigation, a pursuit that can make your head spin. It begins and really never ends in a county in Northeast England. That is where our 16 by 9 crew is searching for a company called Positive Thinking Management. It is listed as the operator of a website called grantsmoney.com, a site that offers personal, lucrative government grants, but what the RCMP is calling a net of deception. Hello, uh, I'm from the television program 16 by 9. You never heard of uh, no, grantsmoney.com? Never heard of it. They took me hook, line, and sinker. Gordon Nichols found out about it the hard way. If you could look into that webcam right there, right mm -hmm. now, what do you want to say to them? The Oshawa, Ontario resident is on a growing list of Canadians claiming they got duped. I did say I wanted my money back. I get my uh, next bill from the bank. I've got a Visa card and there's a $67 charge on it. The charge came from grantsmoney.com. The three charges all together came to just over $200. And Rodney Pinchbeck of Winnipeg says he also bought in. Over the next little while, I started seeing uh, charges on my uh, Visa bill and I wasn't too happy about it. And the list goes on. Online communities have started speaking out against the website that at first glance even appears to have the endorsement of the Canadian Prime Minister. And this is the website. It promises you easy access to government grant money. Take a look over here. There's a stack of $100 bills. Who wouldn't want that? Over here, a picture of the CN Tower. You know, the site looks fairly legitimate. Let's scroll down a bit. Over here, this woman claims she got $97,000 in just 11 days. The site also warns you not to be scammed. Well, let's see if we qualify. I'm going to type in a name, Johnny Smith. You are then told you qualify for a special kit. Just let Grant's money charge your bill a mere $1.95. After a one-day trial, you are charged $57 and change for each 30 days after. It's all on the fine print, but who reads that? I mean, this is a tremendously long page, way down at the bottom, and it's in really tiny mice type. Of we sent the website to 16 by 9s Andrew Lundy, our director of online content for Global News. Name server history. Lundy has an eye for detecting sneaky sites. Most uh, sites with contests or um, are things that you enter uh, have the terms and conditions um, somewhere fairly prominent. What can he tell us about grantsmoney.com? The name server history, it's changed 10 times on seven different servers over, um, over a year. There's no name attached to it, but we have addresses. So this is uh, owned by somebody who lives uh, in Westchester, California. But that could be, could be anything. It could be a postal box. Could be. Grant's money likes to move. So we did what users like Gord and Rodney should have done. Scrolled to the very bottom of the web page. That's where we had to click on the company's terms and conditions to find the fine print about additional charges. Aha, a 1-800 number next to the company name listed as Positive Thinking Management. Thank you for calling customer support. How can I help you? Is this Positive Thinking Management in yeah. the United Kingdom? We're located, sir, in California. Oh, this is California. 
Turns out we've reached a call center, but a further search of domains generates yet another address. This one, also in the United Kingdom. So, back to England, and this time our crews take a train ride south through the English countryside, just a stone's throw from London. So you've never even heard of this company? A friendly welcome seemed a little suspect. Listen to what happens when our 16x9 crew mentions the name grantsmoney.com. Never heard of it. They have computers, but they're not using them for doling out government grants. We're to the company. But not surprising. Toronto internet lawyer Lenny Hotchberg is an expert on internet trickery. The internet is kind of like the Wild West. Anything goes. You put up a website, it can be up in a couple of hours, and uh, the people can design it the way that they want it to to be uh, designed. This is how the site attempts to portray legitimacy, by using a photo suggesting endorsement by Canada's Prime Minister. But during 16 by 9s investigation, the PMO's legal department has followed up with grantsmoney.com and the PM's image no longer appears. You'll notice his picture now replaced with a photo of this woman. It's more of an enticement. She's an attractive uh, young woman. And then we found more. In order for you to receive a Canada kit, you must first qualify. We listen to the pitch and then click to buy in. It's going to the exact same page, right? That everyone gets, everyone gets approved. Canadian Anti-Fraud Call Centre, can I help you, bonjour? The RCMP's anti-racketeering headquarters does know about it. There's a lot of uh, misrepresentation. Corporal Louis Robertson says when users sign up, they are promised a grants kit, but never receive one. The Federal Trade Commission has a, uh, an investigation on the go with sites like that. It's just a matter of time here before we know who the real group is behind those uh, websites. What about the people who host the sites? This site is running off servers uh, from a company called Voxel. And yet another trip and a stop in the Big Apple to visit the headquarters of Voxel.net. 16 by 9 asked to speak to the company president, Zachary Smith. Is uh, there a Zach here? Mm -hmm. Okay, can I talk to him please? Sure. Well, when we identified ourselves, the receptionist then told us the president wasn't in. What time will Zach be back? In an hour or two? But 16 by 9 then caught up with this couple who says they just talked with him. Yeah. Did you meet up with Zachary? Yeah. You did? Yeah. Smith then called us back, but declined an on-camera interview. Instead, he said this. Voxel.net is not concerned with social responsibility. Their main concern is legal obligation to clients. 16 by 9 delved deeper, looking at Gordon and Rodney's credit card statements. And what we found provided yet another twist to our story. It turns out Gordon Nichols' credit card was not charged by Positive Thinking Management, rather by LuckyEarnings.com. So yeah, sir, they were both the same. And Rodney Pinchbeck, he was charged by GetGrantFunding.com. All sites that operate under Voxel.net. 16 by 9 discovered that's not the only site it hosts. This is a porn site. And under terms and conditions, its contact information is listed as the same address in Northeast England on 44 Silky's Lane. It's a different company name, but it's the same address. And in GrantsMoney.com's case, bogus addresses. Under terms and conditions, it's listed as 44 Silky's Lane. That doesn't exist. But 44A Silky's Lane does. I can't even use a computer. <laughs> Hi, Carol. you back. And then one more development. 16 by 9 got a call back from an operations manager from the state of Illinois who identified himself as Robert Koppel from a 1 800 number found in that small print under terms and conditions. Well, we asked Robert about positive thinking management. Honestly, that's the first time I've heard that name. Still, he stands behind the website. If somebody contacted our customer support department, we would please read the terms and conditions, the information's there, please, if you don't like it, cancel within 24 hours. But you know as well as I do, people, yes, don't, re people don't read that fine print and people don't look at their credit cards. People but, just well, spend I a mean, buck 95 I mean, we're, and we're they not, have all the money. And know, we're all like, I can't really fault the people saying that, you know, we can't, we can't force them to read the terms and conditions. And he adds, if people call to cancel their billing, the company will grant that request, but they won't get a refund on the previous charges. Nine times out of ten, you will never see a dime returned. I'd like to speak to the owner. Well, I mean, I'm more than happy to pass your information along to them. And we are still waiting for that call. Did you read the terms and conditions? And just jump the gun instead of reading it as thoroughly as I should have. And credit card companies agree with others who think the terms and conditions of the site 
are misleading. Why did you do it in the first place? Having a house would be better than living in this apartment. And so you're looking for some money. You want to get out of this? I want to get out of this and get ahead on it. Neither Gord or Rodney received the kit they signed up and paid for. Gordon Nichols hopes his investment in our story one day reaps justice. No kits for Gord. No kits for Gord. <laughs> Still to come on 16 by 9. There isn't a single day that goes by that I don't think to myself, three years ago, I never would have imagined myself in this position. That's next.